Theophilus was a cleric who one day sold his soul to the devil. He gained the whole world, but at the loss of his soul. Today I'm going to tell you his story and how Our Lady retrieved the contract that he had signed with his blood from Satan. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Pharma. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and I am so glad that you're here to join me today. Please remember to click subscribe. Your support is the reason why that I'm able to make these videos and keep spreading the word of Our Lady. Thank you. So let's talk about the cleric who sold his soul to the devil and how Our Lady managed to save him. The story of Theophilus took place in Sicily, and he gave birth to a famous legend which inspired the Miracle of Theophilus, one of the most famous works of medieval literature. At midnight, the streets of the city were empty. Hidden by the shadows of the night, Theophilus stole away to the door of a dreary house in an outlying neighborhood. Soon afterward, he was received inside by a wizard who listened to his woes and problems. Well, what was Theophilus's problem? As a parish priest in a prosperous diocese in Sicily, he had administered church properties with dedication for a long time, making it easier for his bishop to govern souls. But one day, the bishop died. And who was to become the new bishop? Everyone declared, Theophilus, of course! When the honor was offered to him, Theophilus declined with simplicity, stating that it was his vocation to remain a parish priest. Eventually, a new bishop was installed in that diocese, but he did not trust Theophilus and dismissed him. Sadness and despair invaded the priest's soul. While he wandered about, the devil whispered to him, To lose your post, to lose your career. How could they do this to you, Theophilus? You can't let this situation stand. It was in this state of soul that the priest knocked on the wizard's door. But... The latter told him, there's only one way out, to invoke the help of evil powers. Theophilus hesitated for a moment, but resentment ate up his heart. He finally accepted the proposal invoked by the wizard. The devil immediately appeared in all of his hideousness. <sighs> you know, we actually talked about this exact story in an issue of Crusade magazine released way back in the late 1990s. You heard me right. We've been printing Crusade magazine for a very long time. And if you've been subscribed to Crusade for a while, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you didn't know, we print a beautifully full color, fully Catholic magazine. It's full of news articles, Catholic wisdom from the saints, and hundreds of stories of miracles just like this one. Each of our Children of Mary gets a subscription to Crusade Magazine as one of their gifts when they join. So, if you'd like to have a gorgeous and inspiring Catholic magazine delivered to your door, take a look at the link in the description box below, or go ahead and click right here. And if you want to hear more about how the Child of Mary program works, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll talk about it a little more there. Okay, back to Theophilus. Remember, he had just accepted the wizard's proposal, and the devil had just appeared. After arriving, and amidst shouts and blasphemies, Satan dictated to Theophilus the terms of his contract, which had to be written on parchment by Theophilus's own blood and sealed with his ring. He was to renounce the Catholic faith, the Church, the Most Holy Virgin, and our Lord Jesus Christ. This he did, and soon Theophilus recovered his post. Fortune and pleasure smiled on him, but a great malaise tormented his soul. He felt as though an invisible hand were crushing his heart. In addition, he felt extremely unhappy with the idea that one day his happiness was going to end. Most of all, he was terrified with the knowledge of who his master was. Unable to bear that situation any longer, 
Theophilus entered the church and threw himself at the feet of Our Lady and bitterly wept for his sin. He did this for 40 consecutive days, renewing his supplication and begging for forgiveness. One evening, Our Lady appeared to him and severely reproached the infamous deeds that he had committed. In tears, Theophilus implored her mercy. Our Lady said she would forgive him for having denied her, but not for having denied her son. Something more was required. Theophilus prayed fervently, but he didn't dare address our Lord. Instead, he asked Our Lady to intercede for him. Our Lady reminded him that before anything else, it was necessary to retrieve the contract that he had signed with the devil, which was in hell. Finally, full of mercy, Our Lady decided to retrieve the contract herself. For three days, Theophilus lay prostrate on the ground. Then, Our Lady appeared again and gave him the contract as a symbol of her pardon. But this is not the end of the story. After Sunday Mass, Theophilus publicly confessed his sins and the cursed parchment was burned. Three days later, Theophilus died, comforted by the sacraments, and was buried in that same church. And that's our story for today. Every time I hear this story, my mind returns to the part when Theophilus made reparation for his sins. He prays and does penance, and in return, Our Lady rescues him. That is the key to consoling the hearts of Jesus and Mary, and let's not forget it. Now, about the Child of Mary program I mentioned earlier in the video. Years ago, we at American East Fatima had an idea. We wanted to create a devotional group that had one mission to spread the message of Fatima as far and wide as we possibly could, and in doing so, enrich the spiritual lives of its members as much as possible. Out of the idea was born our special Child of Mary group. It was important to us that a Child of Mary member was able to donate as much or as little that they wanted, so that as many people as possible could experience the incredible graces Our Lady gives to those that spread devotion to her Immaculate Heart. America Needs Fatima is a non-profit organization, so every Child of Mary donation not only helps us supply your membership gifts, but also helps us fund this entire YouTube operation. <laughs> That's pretty incredible, right? And speaking of those Child of Mary gifts, each Child of Mary receives a free subscription to the Crusade magazine, an elegant pen featuring an image of our Blessed Mother, and <laughs> my personal favorite, a Catholic Mass we prayed in your name every single day. Like I said, we are trying to do our best to bring as many heavenly graces as possible to our Child of Mary members. If you would like to join us, click the link in the description down below, or wait a few minutes and I'll place a link on the screen. Alright, thank you. And that's our video today. Thank you for watching, and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.